let's talk about human overpopulation today and there is a comment JL wrote under my documentary The Connections 2021 short documentary and it is written that overpopulation is a taboo topic and it is a top taboo topic because people don't want uh, others to tell them what to do as long as it is not the demands from a technological civilization so people listen have to listen because they're slaves they're addicts and they have been born into the, the technological civilization so they have been deeply brainwashed to uh, follow the demands of the technological civilization without uh, any critical thinking but somehow uh, they don't want other people to tell them uh, not to have kids or uh, what to eat or like they say these are my pri private matters I don't want anyone to tell me what to do as if they are separate from the rest and of course uh, under the technological disturbance that we are living in in the sixth mass extinction caused by humans and the technological civilization enabling humans to overpopulate um, this is not a private matter anymore if, if you were living in the natural balance okay that's a primary private matter uh, but now having a kid or eating animal products etc uh, they affect others there are victims involved we are not living separately so you need to be conscious about this right and you can't just choose to have 10 kids and destroy the, the world faster so but you know many people just say let me do whatever i want to do uh, without realizing that they are actually um, being the oppressors that they, they, they have victims but i'm not just saying that okay the, the human population is the main problem because there are uh, overpopulated countries that uh, has that, that have much lower impact than other less uh, populated countries such as USA versus India right or Germany versus Pakistan or something like that and so human population is not the main problem but if it is part of the problem and I have addressed here uh, the details why we shouldn't be focusing on solving the human population problem alone and why we can't do it and there is uh, like an evolutionary mechanism the reason behind that is uh, selection and competition uh, to reach to a new kind of balance which it, it will take millions of years uh, so we shouldn't be expecting to solve uh, you know human population overshoot problem anytime soon willingly I mean as humans we can't solve it if we don't address this issue that I'm going to mention so I have responded that I see human population overshoot as a consequence of technology it's very obvious technology disturbs the population balance hence I focus on technology because as long as the technology can enable the temporary en enable and temporarily support increase human populations people will use the technology to increase their populations agriculture green revolution industrial agriculture etc all examples to this tendency and programs that try to re reduce birth rates such as one child policy in China now it is stopped all fail because the system requires a certain amount of people to optimize its function the technological system chose this amount of population rather than humans consciously choosing the amount of their populations and any group that tries to force their populations to be reduced against the technological civilization will be at a disadvantage against those who don't 
Hence, the ones who go along with the technological civilization's demands will take over. Let me mention here that organisms don't choose their population numbers consciously. Lions don't say, I will have this much, this much. Their environment demands it. And our environment now, in modern times, is a technological civilization. That's why the technological civilization demands our population numbers. Okay, let me continue. With this in mind, population control is not the main problem. The root cause is the technological disturbance. Hence, without addressing the techno-industrial civilization, we cannot solve the human population overshoot problem. And that should be very, very clear. And this goes against everything the United Nations and you know all these programs that they have that probably not probably it is just uh, the colonization disguised as help or sustainability or something like that and this just debunks everything they are trying to do they are trying to do they are try, trying to spread the technological civilization they say if we increase the um, you know technological uh, levels in those poor countries let's say india pakistan or other countries who have uh, high birth rates uh, you know population growth high, high density of populations then we can just uh, control the population well it doesn't work that way first of all as i have mentioned already that countries highly uh, with high technology uh, causes more pollution compared to countries with high population but low technology so converting those countries uh, into more technologically advanced countries would uh, accelerate the six mass extinction so this is just uh, technology trying to disguise itself as the solution again, the, the false solution again, and trying to spread like the cancer, that like the virus that it is. And you shouldn't um, mistake uh, that you should be hundred percent sure that techno industrial civilization is the main problem. It's the root cause of the problems. Without getting rid of this, we are not going to solve any significant uh, problems okay the, the only problem that we solve is the ozone uh, depletion and that's because we could have uh, alternatives cheap alternatives we could just substitute and uh, until now you know I, I heard the news that chi somewhere uh, in China they started releasing those uh, ozone depleting chemicals uh, again Ill illegally but let's say uh, for now that's the only environmental problem that we could um, avoid let's say until now who knows what will happen in the in the long term but that's the statistical case that uh, you have more problems you create more problems than you solve and maybe if this problem haven't been solved the ozone depletion then they wouldn't uh, be producing fridges or like all these products that emit those ozone depleting chemicals and then we wouldn't be able to grow those industries and we wouldn't be consuming energy for those industries so it seems that we solve, we might solve some problem, but it's actually avoiding um, some problems while creating, actually creating more. So we need to drop the technological industrial civilization uh, altogether if we want to address any of those problems. So thank you very much for listening, uh, live vegan, uh, be anti-technology, live minimalist 
and see you in another video.